Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor with FreedomOutpost.com and occasional co-host on RTR Truth Media, Resurrect the Republic, Dirty Uncle Sam Radio. I want to bring to your attention a Facebook video of a gentleman that posted this with Lee Arthur Rice II. I will play the video for you because I feel like it is extremely important that this video is not taken down. I would like to read what he wrote behind it, underneath it, before I play the video for you. Public notice. Here I am 151 years later in a place our founding fathers warned us about. I, along with Michael Emery of TVOI News and several other news reporters, observed four military vehicles and at least 30 trucks and cars, some which appear to be white Department of Homeland Security vehicles convert on the refuge. It has also been brought to my attention that there are also several Black Hawk helicopters at the airport where the FBI is staged. All of this for four, maybe five people, patriots that have done no harm, damaged any property, and have no intent of any violence. On the other hand, the de facto government officials have demonstrated their intent to cause fear, harm, and injury to the people of Fernie County, the murder of LaVoy Finnegan, and the wrongful arrest of the Bundys and others. The malicious and wrongful prosecution of the Hammonds and the continued threats to local ranchers, farmers, and other people of Fernie County. It is quite obvious who is in the wrong here. The people are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert the Constitution. Abraham Lincoln, February the 12th of 1865. The mainstream media is not reporting the truth. They are changing the narrative to fit Agenda 21, buying into the false accusations and presumptions of de facto elected or appointed public servants that have usurped their delegated authority in the first place. They continued mischaracter they continue to mischaracterize and demonization of the militia and the people who are here lawfully, constitutionally, and peacefully assist the people of Harney County as in itself, deceitful and misleading. This is not just a Harney County matter, it is a matter that concerns all counties in these United States of America. May the good Lord bless, keep, and protect us all. Much love. This gentleman has a very powerful statement, and I'm going to play the video for you. I do want to say before I share this video with you that one of the main reasons that I am doing this is to mirror this video to make sure that this message gets out. I would ask that everybody do the same. People need to know. People need to hear this message. And who knows when this man's account will be taken down. So I want to um, very much hope and pray that y'all will mirror what is going on and reshare it everywhere for this message to get out. I'm asking all of you to keep us out here in, uh, in Harney County, out here in Oregon, uh, in your prayers. I actually observed um, four or five... Um, MRAPs moving um, to the uh, <coughs> refuge out here, along with, oh gosh, I'd say at least 30 cars, vehicles following behind them. Um, a lot of white vehicles believed to be uh, um, Homeland Security type vehicles. It's definitely being militarized out here. Uh, I don't see any reason why they need all of these so-called assets out here for the four people, four or five people that were remaining in the, uh, out at the refuge. Uh, folks, they're gearing up for something way more than that. They've been caught um, in a lot of fraud and corruption. Um, there's a, uh, over a 680 something page um, report that the Hammonds, we've got that out online everywhere. Um, folks, it's pretty damning. The, uh, the corruption and fraud here is, is, is deep, and they don't want it to get out. You have a, a sheriff ward. You have this uh, um, Grazzi. Um, he's, not, he's only appointed, and this judge has wrecked havoc on this community. Um, in fact, last night in talking to some of the uh, 
the locals here. They're glad that the militia's here. They're glad that there are people here that are, are looking at how to um, lawfully do this without having any more bloodshed. Um, we know for a fact that the incident where they murdered um, Lavoie was a, was a way to send a message to the rest of us. Um, unfortunately, um, there are those of us that don't take lightly to being intimidated, especially <clears throat> when they're in the wrong. It's all about intent. There has never, never been any intent on, on, the, on the part of the, um, the militia that's been out here or anybody else with regards to the community. Um, the intent out here has been nothing but peaceful. Uh, unfortunately, on the other side, um, Sheriff Ward and Gratzky and all of those guys lied. They are lying about what's going on. They have not been um, willing to even meet um, initially when the resolution and the uh, redress of grievance was put out there to them. Um, they refused to answer any of those. And they've been avoiding the issue. So the mainstream media is painting this like it's uh, an anti-government thing. And folks, it is not anything about being anti-government because the people are the government. The people are the government. There are those within the government and and folks, believe it or not, it stretches all the way back to Washington, D.C. Um, they want to take your lands, you know, and that's what the big issue is about. They want to take your lands. They are supposed to be holding all land in trust for the people. And that's what it amounts to. And they don't want to be exposed with what's going on. So they're coming out at any and all of those who have had anything to do with, with supporting that. Um, I don't know how else to put that to you except to just cut to this chase with this thing and address it and uh, present the truth as it's happening. Um, their intent, obviously, is to um, instill fear in the community. Um, otherwise, they would not be having um, these uh, militarized movements going on. Um, the other thing is that um, I was just... Uh, just informed that out at the airport they've got Blackhawks. Now, what are Blackhawk helicopters doing in this community of Harmon County? So if there's any intent, it's on the part of these rogue uh, um, federal officers in the, within the FBI, within the, the Oregon State Police, um, and even the local police. So I'm calling on all of those guys if indeed there's a bone uh, or if you have any heart with regards to the, um, the Constitution and if you're honoring your oath, I would ask that you all consider what you're doing and stand down and not take orders that are totally unconstitutional and unlawful. And uh, that's all I have to say for now. Um, anyway, be blessed, you guys out there. Um, and uh, just, just pray for all of us here in this community. Thank you, and uh, talk to you again soon. Bye. Okay, so you could hear his statement. This uh, is a powerful and very important statement. And you also need to realize they're militarizing. With, with, look back through my YouTube videos and the different things that we have gone over with, with the mastering the human domain with the violations of posse comitatus. This is a violation of posse comitatus. Black Hawks are used for war. They're not allowed to declare war on our people. Why are they having Black Hawks there? Why are they having weapons of war there? You know, even President Obama, when he's trying to grab the guns from the American citizens, always loves to claim we have no right or should not have any weapons of war on their streets. And the only ones with weapons of war are law enforcement or FBI. Our, our Department of Homeland Security, and they're using it against our people. They certainly aren't using it to secure our borders. They certainly aren't using it um, against the individuals who were already convicted criminals that were released out onto our streets. They certainly weren't using those weapons of war in order to catch criminals because they habitually in this administration and even before then are releasing criminals onto our streets, murderers, right here. So make no mistake, this administration, the ones who are in the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the ones who are in the Department of Homeland Security, they are not at war with anybody except our own people. 
They've been trained and brainwashed to believe that we are the enemy while accepting the real enemy as their ally. Lavoie Fenicum. Check my other videos. There is an enhanced video where Lavoie Fenicum points out the man who shot him first. Lavoie Fenicum was not even armed. His revolver was on the refuge. That was also shown in another video because another man was wearing his, his gun belt and his weapon. You're being pitted against each other. Just like the individuals who love to troll and like to call it all, oh, it's the white people. It's the white this, it's the white that. Really? This man looks uh, pretty colored to me. But you know what? It's not color. If you're an American, you should be concerned. It has nothing to do with color. It has everything to do with the elite are trying to divide and conquer us and they'll use anything and everything they can to do it. Are you going to allow them to do it? Or are you going to still sit there blindly and sit on your Facebook and talk trash and think it's okay, but then you want to stand for the Black Lives Matter movement, which does hands up, don't shoot. You know, the same individuals who are trolling and say that don't realize that many of our patriots have stood in defense and against what happened to Freddie Gray. That happened to other individuals. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not a color thing. It's a police state versus us thing. And the sad thing is, is the police are too ignorant to wake up. Ignorant or stupid one. And I don't think they're stupid. But they're so blinded they don't realize they're being targeted by the elite themselves. So once the elite gets their, their way, because they have the police targeting us, and they get their little us looking at them and them looking at us, and they are all doing that for one simple reason, because they don't want all of us working together and focused on the real criminals. Yet you have individuals out in Burns, Oregon, that are from the FBI, that have sold their soul for money. And the same individuals, whom I don't have any clue how they could look themselves in the face, don't realize those same people that they work for, one day will be targeting their children and their mother in the same way that Lavoy Finnegan was targeted by them. I bet you won't be okay with it then. Then you'll be crying and you'll be whining and you'll be saying it's not right, it's not fair. And you know what? You're right, it wouldn't be. I don't wish that on anybody, but you know what? You helped create that. And then you have an FBI agent stands up there in mocks acting like it's absolutely okay. And, oh, I'm going to send a warning to you. That's what you get when you stand up against the feds. Now, let me tell you something. I serve a most high God. He is not only my best friend, he is my Savior. He is above all, through all, and in us all. And let me tell you, you will not get by with what you have done. Whether you answer on this earth or not, you will answer when you meet Almighty God. And it does not matter if you don't believe in Him or not, because when you do, when Judgment Day comes for you, you'll become a believer very quick. And then it'll be too late. I ask that each and every individual, please, pray for the people that are in Burns. Pray for our patriots. Even pray for our enemies. For it 
heaps coals upon their head. And I know that God can change a heart, and I hope and pray that he does. I have the hope that the FBI agents, Department of Homeland Security, and the individuals who have sold out to a corrupt system because they think they're above the law and they think here's their mistake, they think they're above God. You can't shed innocent blood. And when I mean innocent blood, it was not self-defense. Self-defense is a whole other topic. There was no self-defense there. It was an ambush. It was a slaughter. It was a murder. And you will pay. Even according to your own codes. You better start reading your own codes and quit being so stupid. You better quit being blinded by the ones who are above you and telling you, oh, it'll be okay, because I will make sure that you don't get charged. Or telling them, well, you've got to sign a non-disclosure agreement, and if you say anything about the actions that have happened, you'll be held under NDAA 2012 because I have that power. They don't have the power unless you're their puppets. You're the ones giving them the power. Do you think for one second those bosses who are corrupt giving you those orders can do anything if y'all all band together and refuse to follow them? No. There is no excuse for what happened with LaVoy Finnegan. You want your code? Let me tell you your code since you love your code so well. 18 U.S. Code 241. Let me show you your code and what happens when you did what you just did because you will be held accountable. Okay, so here is 18 U.S. Code 241, Conspiracy Against Rights. This is your statute, not mine. This is not the Constitution because you hate that Constitution so bad that protects your individual rights. Apparently, you think it only protects you, though. Not any of us little people. I'm going to tell you and ask at the same time. Look at yourself in the mirror. If you have anybody you care about, look them in the eyes. Because get the reality check. One day, with what you are planting the seed on, with what you are going along with, one day the same will happen to your child, your loved one, your wife, your husband your family, your friends, it will happen by those same people that you are following orders from and you will have no one to blame or, or get upset about but yourself. No matter what side of the spectrum you believe, whether you align yourself with the Democrats or whether you align yourself with the Republicans, or you align yourself with nobody, or you're an independent, it doesn't matter, don't you understand that? Rosa Corey out of Calif California. She's a Democrat, and she's been fighting UN Agenda 21 for years. An amazing, amazing, powerful, and informative person. And why did she stand up and start fighting against it? Because it was corruption and it hurts everybody. And this stuff that is going on in Harney, Oregon, whether you like it or not, is you want to do until 21, 2015 Millennium Goals now, and then it turns now to 2030. And all y'all can do is laugh and degrade because you can't choose a color. Anyone who makes it about color, the person trying to make it about color is the racist. Anybody? Oh, well, they're just a bunch of white men. You're a racist because all you see is color. There were so many more than just white men, but you know what? I'm not even going to go there because it's not justifying your ignorance. Each one of these patriots that you try to mock and you send sex toys to are fighting for your rights. Soon when the government tells you you can't buy your sex toys, what are you going to do then? 
What are you going to do then? Because they're not just attacking and stealing people's land. What are you going to do when they burn down your home? And if you think it's not coming to you just because you're paid off little troll, or you're a paid off FBI agent, or DHS, or whatever form you are working in, police departments, sheriff's departments, community um, boards, the whole nine. If you think for one second that the stuff you're going along with is not targeting you, you're sadly mistaken. You're sadly delusional and you apparently haven't paid attention to the maps. Because if you think for one second you're going to keep your home, if you think for one second you're going to keep your car, if you think for one second you're going to keep what you think belongs to you, no, it doesn't. Because the federal government thinks it belongs to them. And they'll do whatever and the heck they want to do, including burning down your homes, burning down your livestock, killing your animals, killing your children, killing your fathers, your mothers, your sisters, your brothers, and they don't, before they pull that trigger, ask you, well, are you a Democrat or are you a Republican? You need to get out of the two-party paradigm and wake the heck up. Not one bit of those parties, and everybody is looking up to Washington. And if you're looking up to Washington, you're looking the wrong way. They've all sold out. And the only way to change things is through education. But I'm going to go over this really quick, and then I will get off of this video. I want to assure you, to each FBI agent, to each individual, and I don't care what faction you worked for, the ones that were out there that were involved in the assassination of Lavoy Fenicum, you will be held accountable, not just constitutionally. You will be held accountable according to your own code. You will also be held accountable on Judgment Day. And let me tell you, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he is more powerful than every one of y'all. He's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, and he is all powerful. And you may think that you have the upper hand, but we have the master walking with us. You want to instill fear and intimidation and scare the heck out of individuals let me tell you something the power of prayer you cannot fight because you don't even know how to because if you did if you truly prayed if you were truly a good person you wouldn't have been involved in that and you have no idea the power of prayer and I am asking for all prayer warriors to unite in a united prayer for the protection of the people in Burns, for the hearts of the individuals in Burns that are deal that are in the FBI, the DHS, the Sheriff's Department, and all of that to be pricked in their hearts. Pray for Jesus to save their souls. When you pray for your enemy, you heap coals of fire upon their head. Don't do it out of vengeance. Do it out of love. However, here is your code, 18 U.S. Code 241, Conspiracy Against Rights. And you might want to check your own DHS documents. And that FBI, yeah, I know you're the ones that normally do the investigations on this, but make no mistake, you're not the only ones. Your paychecks are paid by us. Not the other way around. You're not my master. And I'm not your servant. If two or more persons, okay, anyone who was involved on scene, 
conspire to injure. Well, Boy Finnicum was dead. He's dead. He was assassinated. They did more than conspire to injure. Conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district in the free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege secured to him by the Constitution or the laws of the United States, or because of his having so exercised the same. Or if two or more persons go in disguise on the highway or on the premise of another with the intent to prevent or hinder his free exercise of enjoyment of any right or privilege so secured, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than ten years or both. And if death results, did you hear this? Pay attention, FBI. If death results from the acts committed in violation of this section, or if such acts include kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to kill, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any term of years or for life or both or may be sentenced to death. Pay close attention to that. You may be sentenced to death for what you are involved in under your own codes. You know, maybe it's just because I love God, but I'm going to tell you, I have never understood how anyone can put money above being loyal to the people of our country, to the foundation of our country, how they can murder a person, not in self-defense, self-defense is a different thing, but they can murder a peaceful, peaceful person. And for those of you who I am sure, and this is just an assumption, have been told, oh, don't worry, we'll keep everything quiet, um, you're not going to get any charges, you're sadly mistaken. God's people are awakening in mass. The people within our union are awakening in mass. And we will not allow you to carry out your murderous plan. Each one of you, and this is not a threat, this is just a fact, each one of you has to go home one day to your families. And if you think for one second that people who are around you won't see the murder of the boy Fiddikin, please don't be that ignorant. Because your mainstream media bought off puppets that love those traffic stops. I bet. How about let's ask them if they'll go through that traffic stop. You paid mercenary. And the sad and horrible and disgusting thing about it is you don't even realize that one day that same government that you're working for murdering innocent people is going to target you. Just like Hitler and Stalin did. Because we can't have them around. Pretty sad that we still care about your families while you murder our people. But that's what patriots do because we believe in everybody's rights. 
Unlike you, you think you're judge, jury, and executioner. One day you will meet the judge. And unless you have repented and been baptized in Jesus' name, receive the Holy Ghost. God help you. Read Acts 2.38. There is forgiveness for your sins. Even yours. And I hope and pray that you will turn from your wicked ways. Because you know, Nuremberg trials did happen. The traitors got home. And their excuse was the same excuse you're going to try to use. I was just following orders. So you're either a puppet without a brain, or you're going to turn into an actual man or a woman and stand up. And say, heck no, I'm not going to be involved with the slaughter of our own people. But make no mistake, what you reap or what you sow, you shall also reap. God bless you. Semper Fidelis. Please, all prayer warriors, stay in prayer for the people in Burns. Please reach out and let individuals know. This is very serious, Alan Burns. This is a United Nations thing, not a daggling cattle thing. If you don't want them burning your houses, then I suggest you get on board. No matter what side of the board you're on. And if you want to find out exactly how much land they want to take, Go to www.democratsagainstunagenda21.com Because you're targeted. And I bet when it hits your house, you're not going to be laughing so hard. God bless and good night.